but before you get into the discussion about DevOps and, and you know, really what are we going to need to make it work, you have to take a step back and really have a good understanding as to what your environment is going to require, right? What is your framework? What is your capability from an IT perspective? And each one of these uh, 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 bubbles, let's call them for now, as I mentioned earlier, is going to bring you some specific knowledge. So you have to take that step back and you need to figure out what is that enterprise architecture looks like, right? In relationship to all of these different, right? Standards, frameworks, best practices, you know, methodologies in order to uh, enable them to work together. Because if you're going to start with DevOps and ignore everything else, very quickly you're going to realize as an example that you're going to need certain processes and ITIL has to be introduced or, you know, uh, Agile has to be introduced. But now you're tripping and you have to pause until they happen so that you can continue. So this is why, you know, this has to be figured out way up front before, you know, uh, 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 DevOps is really in place. This is part of the same discussion. You need to figure out security, governance, alignment with the business, some of the best practices that I mentioned about. In addition to all of this, you need to deal with the change, the change impact, the change acceptance without getting, you know, into all the details you know, the, the, the Kubler-Ross uh, uh, curve will, will show you, you know, the traditional kind of impact. First, people are in shock and then denial, they're frustrated, they're depressed, and not until after a while that they start actually buy into it and, you know, agreeing to it and eventually be part of the ongoing integration, right? So you need to be prepared for that as well. It's not going to click right away. So these are important, you know, elements to think about upfront before you start, you know, uh, prepping to introduce DevOps because you're going to introduce something that your organization is not ready for if you didn't consider these things.